This is the point of isolation. It is a point where God sets you, he isolates you. Now listen, it is there in the can, there is form. There is gravy inside, there is sweetness, but yet the person feels lonely and depressed. I don't know what is going on. I've got a home. I've got a car. I've got a family. I've got my own business. I've got a job. But I just don't feel satisfied. I feel empty. I feel, somebody said, what is wrong? I don't know. I just don't know. There is something. There is an isolation. Sometimes that is a time God is still calling on you. He is still talking on your heart. There is just that void, that emptiness. Everything looks good on the outside. But there is still bitterness. The water, they said to the prophet, hey, listen, the land looks good, but the water is bitter. There is something still not right. Something still not right. And the reason the isolation happens is because after that, you go into a unit called the hydro unit. The hydro unit is where we cook the food now. And it is a slow cooking process. With hot water and fire. No wonder the Bible says in Isaiah 43, so when you go through the fire, listen, in the process, there is a fire. The Bible says when you go through, it doesn't say if you go through. When you go through the water. But I want you to see the wisdom of God. That before it goes through the fire and the water, the can was already sealed. That is why when you go through it, the Bible says, though you go through it, it shall not burn you. Why? Because you have been sealed in Christ. That as you're going through that process, you are sealed already. And he says to you, fear not, for nothing shall by any means hurt you. But you must go through it. It is part of the process. And it's all because of the purpose of God upon your life.